What will happen when you fall in quicksand? Hello guys, how are you all? Welcome to my YouTube channel. English movies love quicksand, and Death by Quicksand is a favorite thing of movie directors. Just because it's exotic, dramatic, and extremely exaggerated. But the fun fact is that it's not as deadly as it might seem. You must have watched an adventure English movie where the hero is sucked down into a horrible pit of quicksand. And then he saves himself at the very last moment by grabbing a nearby branch of a tree and pulling himself out. Well, when it comes to quicksand, then you need to know that the more you struggle in it, the more rapidly you will sink. But if you just relax, then your body will float in it, because it is much less dense than the quicksand. If you want to know more about quicksand, its properties, and what will happen if you step in quicksand, then this video is for you. Before jumping into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. Let's get on! Quicksand is not as fearsome as shown to us in the silver screens. You can say that the treacherous grit is normally not much deeper than a few feet. It can be found at the places where the conditions are suitable. You need to know that quicksand is just an ordinary type of sand, and it is greatly saturated with water. As a result of this saturation, the friction between sand particles is greatly reduced. So the sand turns into a soft mixture of sand and water. Due to this texture, sand is unable to support any weight over it. If you ever accidentally step into quicksand, then there is no need to panic or worry, because it won't suck you down. But if you move continuously or struggle to come out of it, then it will cause you to take yourself deeper into the sand. What is quicksand? Quicksand is considered as a mixture of two phases of matter that combine or merge to form a surface that looks like it's solid and firm, but in case of any vibration or weight placed upon it, the surface can easily collapse. Generally, quicksand is considered as a mixture of water and sand, but it can also be a mixture of silt and water, clay and water, sediment and water, and even it can be a mixture of sand and air. You need to know that the solid part normally accounts for most of the mass but the spaces between the particles are comparatively larger than you would find in dry sand. Quicksand can be found in many different places. Most commonly, it occurs near the coastal regions, along river banks, and in marshes. You need to know that quicksand can form in standing or stagnant water, when the saturated sand is agitated, or when the soil is exposed to a spring flowing above it. Another important thing you need to know is that dry quicksand can be present in deserts and has also been produced artificially under laboratory conditions. Scientists consider that this type of quicksand is formed when extremely fine sand particles from a sedimentation layer over the granular form of this sand. This type of sand was considered a danger during the Apollo missions, and it is thought that dry quicksand make the stone moon en masse. You need to know that quicksand is also accompanies earthquakes, and no vibrations have been known to engulf cars, vehicles, buildings, and even people. When it comes to the phenomenon that how the quicksand works, then you need to know that it is a non-Newtonian fluid. This means that it can change its viscosity in response to any degree of stress applied to it. Normally, undisturbed quicksand will appear solid to you, but it's actually in the form of a gel-like structure. Stepping onto this quicksand initially decreases the viscosity, and there are greater chances that you will sink. If you stop after taking the first step, the sand particles beneath your feet will get compressed by your weight and, as a result, the sand around you will also settle in one place. On the other hand, if you start continuous movements, like moving around from a panic, then that keeps the mixture more like a liquid, and as a result of your frequent movements, you sink deeper. However, you need to know that an average human being has a density of about 1 gram per milliliter, and the average quicksand has a density of about 2 grams per milliliter. So this means that you will only sink halfway, no matter how frequently you move or how badly you freak out. In addition to this disturbing fact, the quicksand makes it flow like a liquid, but at the same time, the gravity is acting against you. If you want to escape the trap of quicksand, then try to move slowly and try to float also. If you make strong movements or apply strong forces, then that can stiffen the quicksand, and it will act more like a solid than a liquid. 
so all the pulling and jerking movements that you do will be of no use and they will only make the situation go worse. Commonly, we get to hear that quicksand can kill. Indeed, human beings do not sink in quicksand until they are submerged. Humans and animals generally float in water. So if they are standing upright, even then they will only sink in the quicksand just waist deep. In addition to this, if the quicksand is near a coastal area or river, then there are chances that you can sink in an old-fashioned way when the tide comes, but even then you won't be suffocated with a mouthful of sand or mud. Then what are the cases related to quicksand that can lead to death? Death can occur in case of drowning, and it happens when additional water moves in the quicksand. The extra water that moves in the quicksand can be a result of a tide, splashing water, and heavy rain also. The other cause of death can be hypothermia. This is the condition in which a person is unable to maintain body temperature when half of his body is encased in the sand. This is a condition that happens rapidly in wet quicksand. And you can also die in a desert, especially when the sun goes down, because it is generally very cold in the desert at night. Another case in which death can occur due to quicksand is suffocation. And this depends on how someone is positioned in it. In some cases, breathing can be impaired. If a person is standing upright, then there is nothing to worry. But if he falls into the quicksand and fails at rescuing himself, then that can cause suffocation if he becomes fully covered in the sand. In addition to this, death can also occur due to crush syndrome, which can happen due to the pressure on the skeleton muscles and circulatory system. The compression can cause damage to muscles and nerves, and as a result, some compounds that cause kidney damage are released. Another case that often really happens is dehydration, especially if someone is trapped for a longer period of time, then he or she may die of thirst. If you are traveling in quicksand, then you should be trained enough, because there are reports of people, vehicles, and even entire caravans sinking into the sand and being lost in it. This was all for today's video. Hope you liked it. Have you ever experienced sinking in quicksand? If yes, then share your experience in the comment section below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell for more amazing, informative, and interesting videos.